I know you guys will be glad to hear this, but acids and bases actually affect the solubility of salts. So when we talk about slightly soluble salts, those are the ones that establish that KSP equilibrium. Salts that produce hydroxides in a solution can be driven to the right, so more soluble, by adding a strong acid. So like magnesium hydroxide, for example. Not a very soluble salt, but it does produce a small amount of hydroxide in solution. If we add a strong acid, like hydrochloric acid, those H pluses are going to join with the OH minuses from the MgOH, forming water. What essentially we're doing then is we are erasing some of these hydroxides. What does the Chatelier say about a stress like that? If we remove hydroxides, what's the system going to do? It's going to shift back to the right in order to fill in that void that we have left by removing hydroxides. When it does that, it's going to increase the solubility of the magnesium hydroxide. More of it's going to dissolve to produce more hydroxides. For this reason, magnesium hydroxide is soluble in an acid. Okay, here's an example problem. So sol solid calcium carbonate, that CaCO3, is placed in a solution with hydrochloric acid. Uh, hydrochloric acid, so that's going to generate the H pluses. We know Cl minus is going to be a spectator because it always is. And so what that's going to generate then is going to be H2CO3 and calcium 2 plus. So the H joins on with the CO3 2 minus and generates more uh, Ca2 plus. And that's going to help drive this reaction over. But wait, what do we know about H2CO3? That's carbonic acid, and it always decomposes into two things. What does it decompose into, ladies and gentlemen? That's right, water and carbon dioxide gas. So that means the net ionic equation for this one would be calcium carbonate plus an acid turns into H2O plus CO2 plus calcium. This will actually work with weaker acids as well. Weak acids do create a small amount of H pluses, but mostly it's about the strong base that's OH minus. And so the OH minus can take this weak acid in its full undissociated form, and it can rip those H pluses away from the weak acid, thus forming water and acetate. As a result, we are essentially, once again, eliminating some of those hydroxides, which is going to drive the reaction towards the right and increase the solubility of the magnesium hydroxide. Net ionic equation, be magnesium hydroxide plus the undissociated form, gives us magnesium ions, water, and acetate.